Everybody gather for our family thumbnail. Come on. The Hip Hop Holiday Trek MTV. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to our crib. Really, how do you? Good gosh. After winter break, I'm coming yeah, hard. Facts. Rough fight. Okay, wait, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't see you. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to our dorm. Oh, it's my sh Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something that is highly anticipated by Nobody. Then we're gonna be doing a dorm tour, and I'm super excited because it looks really homey in here, at least homier than it did in the beginning of the semester. So I'm really excited to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, y'all. I have my BFF Bree recording for me for my tour for the bathroom portion. So say hey, Bree. Hello. <laughs> come, come, don't be shy. Come in. Oh wait, come the lights so they can see the theatrics. Right. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awful. The first thing that you would normally see is this wine boy that I take a lot of pride in decorating every month. Go ahead and show them. Yep, yeah. December. Yeah. And then we come over here, you see our $20 Christmas project. I don't think we made any more than $20 on uh, our Christmas project. Yeah, because you know how I eat. Yeah. So, not including the Christmas countdown, all of this stuff right here was from Five Below the Dollar Store. We probably spent about like 20 bucks total, which is super cool. I would definitely invest in a tree for your dorm. It makes everything like so much more festive. This is from Ross and it costs $7.99. So, it's really cute. The Christmas countdown, we've been moving it. So, they should come for it this way. This is our bathroom. And for CB1, the toilet and the shower are together. But, right. It's not bad, it's honestly not bad. Everybody in CB2, listen up and listen good because everybody's like, oh my gosh, y'all's bathroom and y'all toilets together. It don't really matter. Mm -mm. Cause guess what, if you have the two, we just cut that shower off. So this is the bathroom, so you just have a toilet and a shower. It's, it has a tub if y'all into stuff like that, I don't know. But yeah, the shower and the toilet is together, but honestly, we don't have any problems. This is where we keep our tissue and stuff and this rug, I think it's Ugg, I don't know. It's from Ugg. That lighting kind of ate down in there. Can you serve? Yeah. So after you come out of the bathroom, the actual bathroom area, you have our countertop area. So if you know, we're we'll ready for the day. Right here we have our bathroom rules, which was from Ross. I think it cost me like eight bucks. Our theme is like black, white, gray. gray. Very neutral stuff. So we just got that. And I got this theme also from Ross. Ross, sponsor us. It's super cute. I just felt like we needed something extra going to our countertop. It looked really bland and boring and ugly. So yeah, that's that. And then over here I have our Christmas theme is gonna be known. It's, it's be not. This is this welcome. It cost me like a dollar at the dollar store. And in here we keep hand sanitizer. Over here, this is my sink. If you didn't know already, I don't have a roommate as of right now. So this is when I say this is my side. It's my side. So this is my side as of right now. And I just keep my toothbrush, myself, and stuff up here. And my teammates keep theirs over here. So yeah. Okay. So as far as cabin space, I think it was a lot of cabin space. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys what's in here. This is like personal items and stuff like that. But we, these are what we consider our community drawers. So anything in here, we put for all of us to use. So you have like your sanitary pads, baby wipes, alcohol, stuff like that. And then cleaning supplies and stuff we keep in these two. For some weird reason, our dorm is a community dorm. So there's like six people in here. Come on out, guys. <laughs> Come on, Sherpa. Thumbnail. Don't act like you love me. Can you thumbnail? Here's sweetmate number one, Jaya. Jaya, what is your favorite thing about living with me? Nothing. You let me buy your stuff. I don't. Come on, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is sweetmate number two. Big Mola to you. So Mola, what's your favorite thing about living with me? She cleans the bathroom. <laughs> Bro. the trash can. Bro. Cut because. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Being friends with me, you make me laugh. You make me laugh as well. <laughs> <laughs> Videos open. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so that was my sweetmates room and friends. You can probably still hear them. But now we're on to the important part. Woo! So I am gonna do this part myself. So shout out Big Bree. Wait. Shout out Big Bree. Just know she's here in spirit. Oh my gosh, can you serve? Thanks, sister. <laughs> 
Okay, so like I said, for the actual room part of the room tour, I'm gonna be doing it by myself because I didn't want to make Brie listen to me stutter for like two hours straight. Shout out to her for helping me with the bathroom portion and shout out to all my friends for whatever they did. So here's the door that leads to the room itself and here's the actual room. I know that I don't have too much to show you guys, but I feel like when I knew that I was going to UH and I was looking at videos for like moving and stuff like that, I barely saw any videos on CV1. So I wanted to show you guys at least the layout so you guys can know what you're signing up for if you do go to UH. Let's get into the actual decor and decorations and everything. Here is a bed where my future roommate will be staying. We call this a community bed because since I'm the only friend out of my whole friend group that doesn't have a roommate, this is where everybody is all the time. I had to kick them out just to record this video. But no, I really enjoy it. And I didn't want to decorate the side too much because I know I will be giving a roommate most likely next semester. So I just put this nude bed spread that I got from my friend Caleb. Shout out Caleb. He got it from Amazon. I will say this side of the room is very, very plain because like I said, I'm going to have a new roommate coming in soon probably. So I didn't want to decorate because I would have to take it all down. I was going to lie and say, this is where I do my makeup, but y'all, I don't think I've ever even sat in this desk, like ever. There's a lot of idle space. Like, I don't use any of this, so I just put something right there so it doesn't look as depressing. Let me get the angles right. Let the light capture my beauty. So I have this mirror from Five Below, and then I have all my makeup products. Not gonna lie, like when school first started, I was doing my makeup a lot. Like even in comparison to my last YouTube video when I was doing my makeup to go out, I don't really do any of that anymore. Over here is just like my beauty blenders, a fan, my baking powder. And I know y'all see my boy. He was kind of creeping me out a little bit. You ever need some money for the wash material? He got you. But if you go to UH, you won't need it because washing is free. OMG, I almost forgot to show y'all. Over here, I have whatever this is. Amazon, oh, Amazon is so fake because they sold this as if it was just like this tall, like the one that I have at home. Y'all, let me show y'all how little this thing is. Do not piss me off. Overall, she's cute, but girl, why is this so small? That's disrespectful. Getting to the interesting part. Oh shit, people looking? It's a little construction going on. It's kind of ruining the aesthetic. This right here is my nightstand. I actually, hold on. Unfortunately, this nightstand is actually my future roommate's dresser. So when she does come, I have to give this back to her. So as far as the top of the desk goes, I just have my two plants. Shout out Momo and Finn. This is Papa Earl. He came from a dollar store. He's supposed to be Christmas decorations, but honestly, I kind of want to keep him up all year. He matches our bathroom theme, but nobody likes him but me. So I keep him in here. So whatever. Over here, we have my queen, her solo album. But I just keep that there for decoration. Quick intermission. I feel like a lot of people were asking me like, oh, did you bring your K-pop albums to school? No. <laughs> Nyan one is the only one that I brought and that's only because like she stands up on her own she's really cute but as far as my other albums no I left them at home and kept the photo card and I just figured like while I'm here like I'll buy some on the way like I bought my 80s album if you haven't watched that video go but yeah okay back to the tour there's nothing else too special on my nightstand just my Starbucks Christmas cup and then a lens that is not a lens it's actually a coffee cup Shout out Mr. Curtis, he got this for me. Up here chilling, you have my speaker and then Damianka and Fresa. As far as what's inside the drawers, there's literally nothing in here. Drawers, ooh, 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 let's try again. It's junky drawers where I keep like technology related stuff, like all my extra chargers, headphones. My AT's poster is right here because she wanted to keep falling, so I didn't know where else to put it. And then in the very bottom drawer, ooh, this one is just as bad, let's close that up. No, but this drawer just has all my hair stuff. It just has like my wigs, everything that I use for my hair, you know. I find these dressers really cool because they have this top thing that you can pull out. So if I'm on my bed, sometimes I put my computer right here. Watch a little Netflix, you know. Speaking of bed, let's get into mine. Oh wait, no. But yeah, as you move from my nightstand, you have my actual bed. A lot of you guys probably remember this from the move-in vlog. Not much has changed besides that. Don't get me wrong though, I've added and taken away so many posters since I've been here and they all just, don't pick the vibe, but I just feel like this is the best it's gonna get. <laughs> For details, I don't really have very many details on like the stuff on my bed because it was gifted to me. Bless up. I have my white throw blanket, which is from the dollar store, believe it or not. My comforter was given to me via scholarship. My mom found this at Walmart. On the bed, we have my children, Dino and Robert. Dino is named after the international superstar, Dino of 17. A lot of people ask me about my posters on Instagram. If they're not the album bought ones, like my TXT one, then I made them myself. I found every single one of these on Pinterest and I put them on the board and I downloaded the FedEx Office app. I found my nearest FedEx and just got them shipped and printed there. And you just go pick them up. I think all of them were like 30 cents each. So for all of those, including the ones by my desk, I probably paid like eight bucks. Oh, I don't know if anybody cares, but this is just some super cheap hat that I added felt around for the TXT concert. And it's just been there ever since. My headphones are the S Rhythm NC35. I got them from Amazon. They're pretty cool. I wear them like every day, so. Now we can get into like what's under the bed because there is a lot of crap under here. But while we're on the floor, I got a rug from Ross. It was like 12 bucks. I don't know how I feel about it. If you did, watch my moving vlog you would know that i had a white rug in the beginning don't get a white rug it was always dirty so this is just like a temporary solution until i find one that i like more all right so we're starting off strong with my second stool of the semester because the first one broke 
If you're thinking about raising your bed, you definitely need a stool because I'm 5'8 and I still kind of have a hard time. Under the actual bed, we have where I keep my like sleeping clothes, my underwear and stuff like that. This is a caddy where I keep my stuff that I use when I'm in the shower. On the far side, we just have my laundry hamper. That's off over there. Let's move on down. Here we have my fridge. Please don't tell my RA I have two fridges. You're probably like, Nadia, you have so many snacks. What is that? Yeah. So yeah, she's an empty girl right now, but we'll work on that when we come back from break. Over here is kind of junky, but there's literally nothing I can do about it right now because this is what I consider like a pantry. Like this is where I keep my dry foods that don't go in the refrigerator. I did forget to mention that a lot of my stuff is under the community bed. I use it as a storage. So like my paper plates, paper towels and stuff like that, they're all currently under the community bed. Oh, and behind the bed is also where I keep my extra like mouthwash, my luggage, unnecessary stuff that nobody cares about. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so after you move my bed, you have my desk area, which looks kind of ugly on camera. Hold on. For some weird reason, I spend so much time at my desk now that I'm in college. You cannot pay me to do my homework at my actual desk at home. I think it's just because it's kind of cute. Over here, I have some of my photo cards. I'm not gonna get into depth because you guys are gonna think I'm a loser. For some reason, this over here has become an AT shrine. I don't, don't ask what's going on. Some freebies and stuff. Oh my gosh. Down here is pretty bland, pretty boring. I keep this purple bag full of like necessities that I need to throw inside of my tote because I switch bags so much. And then behind here is just where I keep most of my jewelry and stuff like that that I also never wear because I'm lazy. Okay, so as far as the actual desk goes, it's a lot going on. I don't know why on camera it was real busy. But over here, I just have this mirror that I bought from Daiso. Candle, which I got from Walmart. I have this grid that I got from Amazon. It came in a pack of four. So it's gonna be way bigger, but I left two of them at home and this is two stacked on top of each other. On here, I just have like family pictures, but mostly just pictures of the groups I stay in. There's nothing school related on this desk at all. I have this pencil holder, which was actually supposed to be a makeup holder. I got it from TJ Maxx for like three bucks. And then I just have this like folder, which I keep my binder. Did you think this was a binder for schoolwork? No, it's twice. Like when I said there's no schoolwork on this desk, but these are my journals that I do use for class. And there's also a planner back here, you know, stuff like that. I also have this computer stand thing that I raise up if I wanna do my work while I'm standing. I can also use it if I wanna like do work in my bed. I also have this lamp, which isn't very effective because it's supposed to be wireless so you can move it anywhere, but y'all, it dies so fast. So I kinda just keep it right here. But over here, I just have another drawer. This one has my clothes and stuff, like extra clothes in them that aren't under there. I have my skirts and stuff up here, shorts and like some, basic crop tops over here, sweats and swimsuits, and then like belts and stuff are over here. This drawer is used for like um, personal items, I guess. Here are my towels, but I'm too lazy to open it. So yeah. I forgot to mention that I got this Stacy poster from an actual album. They don't have any poster frames at Walmart that fit it. So I kind of just got one and then did a weird white looking border around it. This picture of Intoc is from the album. And then these are also two of the things that I did via FedEx office. Moving down, I just have this random command hook. This is the only one out of the three that I had right here that stayed. Purses. Oh, okay. Anyways, I have these two purses and then this tote, which let me complain for a sec. I got this tote from the Omar concert for $35 and it's already bleeding through. Since he's my favorite artist, like I literally buy anything that has Omar's name on it, but the merch team needs to get it together. I spent $35 on this tote. 35. Moving on to the last thing of the room, so we have my closet. Please ignore my phone on this selfie stick, please. I really don't have much in this closet, so I'm gonna show you guys mine and give a brief overview of that one, but literally, it's not much in there, so. Oh, another plus about moving to CV1 is that we have mirrors and CV2 doesn't. I know a lot of people put like curtains and stuff, but if you like full weather length mirrors, CV1. But yeah, you just slide them open like this, and here's my closet. I don't really hang that many clothes up. I don't know. I don't really like hanging up clothes for some reason. Considering the fact that I have a relatively large closet at home, I feel like this works fine. The reason why I've learned to be okay with like this much closet space is probably because I fold way more now than I did at home because I, I have so much dresser space here. The main thing that I hang up is just like my jackets and sweaters and stuff like that. I did take a lot of clothes home because like the season's changing. He moved out here and I have pants and like other sweats that went in the drawer. As you can see, I'm not working with that much. I'm really a skirt type of girl. Then once you move back up, um, I have my shoes. I did take a couple pairs home for Christmas break, but this is pretty much what I wear on a regular basis anyway. Now moving on to the other closet. Ta-da! As you can see right now, we're only working with one article of clothing that Brie left in here. Up here, it is where I keep like my laundry stuff and then like seasonal items. We decorated it for like Halloween and like fall type stuff too. So that's like what's thrown up there. And see, I just keep my broom and stuff in here, water bottles. Okay, I can't even lie to y'all and say that this is like normally organized because I promise it's not. But yeah, this is the bin where I keep like my bags, hats, totes. Did I have to get on the floor to explain that? Yes. Oh my gosh, are we done? We're done. It only took 
two hours you can literally tell i've been filming these clips over and over again because it's literally dark outside that is all for my video today i really hope you guys enjoyed i know it seems kind of like thrown together and crazy but i really wanted to get some videos out for you guys before i went home for christmas break i also hope that anybody who's an upcoming freshman at uh got a better understanding of like the dorm layout and stuff like that because i know i personally didn't see a lot of videos of cd1 if you guys are just watching and don't care about college in the slightest thank you so much for still supporting me and watching my video thank you guys so much for tuning in i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>